All right, guys, and welcome back. Gonna do a little bash today. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, uh, you realized I picked up this uh, vintage 1976 Eagle Eyes G.I. Joe Adventurer head. And uh, so I finally got some parts to go ahead and give him a new life. So I picked up the Guyper Man headless body. This is a uh, 1970s muscle body G.I. Joe that they've been producing. So uh, they offer it as a headless option. So if you have some old figures that you wanted to uh, get back in action, uh, this is going to be perfect for that. So the head will simply fit over the peg and then pop into place. So I'll do that shortly. So that'll be cool and then you see his eagle eyes do work so it's gonna be pretty cool looking forward to popping that head back on and putting this together so with that I had to decide what I'm gonna do with them so I, I already put together a land adventure commander uh, a vintage one that I restored uh, so I figured I'd do a little something different so I picked this up from Cotsworld. Again, that's where I picked up the body. Uh, it is the karate outfit. It's in a vintage style. It's brand new, but it's got that vintage look to it. So I picked up the black karate outfit. Comes with the uh, black belt as well. And I also picked up the uh, little diorama piece that you get, uh, which is a brick breaking uh, gimmick to kind of display along with the figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together. So let's get started. All right, so I've got the head popped on to the figure. Just used a blow dryer on a low heat setting for about a minute or so, just to warm it up. Makes it easy to pop the head on. I didn't want to, uh, you know, force the, uh, the plastic you know, while it's cold or room temperature. The big benefit of the Cotsworld uh, body I picked up, the Guyper Man, is the skin tone is a very close match to it. So it pops on, it's essentially like having a brand new figure. Uh, essentially it is. This head again was uh, reflocked uh, before I received it. So it's a vintage head on the uh, the brand new production 70s body really cool way to get your uh, vintage gi joe's back in action or for me i just picked up the the head off ebay and because i knew this body was available i was able to just put this together so i'll go ahead and start getting him all set up all right so here he is all set up into his karate outfit looking really cool if i must say this is a very fun little project it's got that uh, classic vintage look belt is a nice thick material so that looks really good the uh the fit is really good too it's not too short or anything like that so that looks really cool uh of course this is how the outfit comes uh directly from Cotsworld. But being that this guy is an Adventure Team G.I. Joe, I'm going to be uh, adding one more thing. Alright, so it's official. He's part of the Adventure Team. He's got his Adventure Team patch. It's a very fun project to put together. Enjoyed putting it together. Hope you enjoyed watching along. And to close off, Joe is going to show you how to break bricks. look at that power very impressive all right guys thanks as always for watching until next time